lights went out and so did the air conditioning of Manhattan's main criminal court today. And that meant everyone had to be evacuated, including prisoners. CBS 2's Steve Lankford has more. Evacuating one of the busiest courthouses in America is no simple feat. The most critical task, getting the incarcerated out without it turning into a prison break. A heavily armed team from the NYPD standing guard out back as bus after bus from the Department of Corrections is loaded with prisoners behind the secure garage doors. Chopper 2 over the scene as inmates in chains were escorted out of the courthouse and civilians exited en masse. I don't wait around. I learned from 9-11. I don't wait for nobody to escort me. I leave. The power went out shortly after 12 noon because of an underground transformer fire, the FDNY says. It was dark inside, evacuees say. No smoke reported, but uncertainty prompted a swift exit. I didn't say anything. I didn't wait for the announcement. I just, on my instant, just to go out. The electrical fire was one thing. Then they had to deal with elevated carbon monoxide readings. Stand by. Okay. The judge will be coming by momentarily. Okay, thank okay. you. Jurors in one case were immediately sent to lunch, then awaited instructions outside. It was pretty smooth and easy. It was the best experience that I've ever had serving jury duty. <laughs> Mid-afternoon, 100 Center Street remained off limits as the courthouse awaited word on when the wheels of justice would once again grind slowly. In Lower Manhattan, Steve Langford, CBS 2 News. And court officials say 100 Center Street is closed for the day. No injuries were reported.